Well, there it is. That's it. Nipsey Hussle. There ain't no more Nipsey Hussle. He ain't here no more. Because somebody decided to shoot him. Shot six times. Once in the head. Two other men shot. One also dead. Other one in critical condition. Who knows if the other one going to make it too. This man. Who like I said earlier. For the most part is one of the more positive artists. Worked with. People who are outside of his gang. YG. And the game. One who. Gave back to his community. By opening this store. In the same area. Where he's from. The Marathon Clothing. A man who saw. Some problems in the world. And decided, okay, here's how I'm going to help. And it was in a way that would help people see what, what's really going on. He was bringing awareness to people. He never did follow that path that everybody else was doing. And in this world... It appears people like that don't get to last long. I'm going to let you hear something that he said. Cause that's what you need to hear. You don't need to hear me talking. Listen to what he planned to do. There's going to be a lot of stuff said about what happened. The main thing you need to understand is it's over. There ain't no more Nipsey Hussle. And one thing you can't say you can't say that this man wasn't for his people. CB. 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 My bad. I said it wrong. Said yeah. 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 I'm an LA nigga, 72. man. My lingo a little different. Have you met right? Dr. CB? I never met him. I met his wife, and I, I take his products for sure. Now, the coolest guy ever. I mean, he was, uh, when we interviewed him, I think he was about 74. Oh, y'all interviewed him? Yeah, we interviewed him twice. Damn. Not here, but when I was on the other show. He was able to jump from the floor up here on his knees. At, at 70 something. Right. on his knees yeah. and jump back down and no problems, nothing like that. Why do why you think he they had, killed him? Why do they kill all holistic doctors? Right. Messing up the medical industry. It's, you playing, you short stopping that grind. Why do mm -hmm. niggas get killed for hustling in front of a nigga's spot? You short stopping the grind. Mm -hmm. And th these niggas, they check is billions. Mm -hmm. You got niggas that get flipped for a couple hundred thousand. So you playing with some pharmaceutical money, you know? And what's crazy, I'm, I'm working on doing a documentary on the trial of, in 1985 when Dr. Sebi went to trial against New York. Right. Because he he put in newspaper he cured AIDS. Yeah. Did, did he did he he beat, beat the he case, case. Yeah. and he went to federal court the next day and beat that case yeah. on record. Yep. And nobody talk about it. That's crazy. I'm in the middle of doing this holistic detox right now. Day six of fourteen. Yeah, you was telling me. Yeah. So. No food, nothing. And they said it actually can help cure fibroids. It can um, help you if you are you know cancer, any right. type of heart issues, and it's all natural herbs and all organic and. All holistic, yeah. without actually going to a doctor and getting exactly, you know, pharmaceutical. Yeah, you, nope. how you feel though? You feel you feel. I a actually difference? feel pretty good. Do you feel a difference? You think I do. That's it right. could be also because I've cut a lot of things out and I haven't had any food, nothing solid at all right. in the past six days. But I feel all right, better right. than I thought. Right. right. Just to go back to the Dr. Sebi thing real quick, what makes you want to do a CB. documentary? Doc okay, CB. get it right, man. What makes you want to do a documentary <laughs> about Dr. CB? Um. I think the story is important. I think mm -hmm. it's a powerful narrative. It is. You know what I mean? And I think if, imagine this, anybody in this room, if I could say, hey, somebody cured AIDS, y'all be like, yeah, right. And then I could show you a, a example of him going to trial and proving in a court to a jury that he cured AIDS. Y'all would be interested in that. Absolutely. Absolutely. And y'all would look into the way he did it, right? So I feel like more so than like championing his products or explaining his methodology, put some light on that case. Imagine being able to cure cancer or being able to cure any type of herpes, just all kinds and of And that's what things. he do, by no, the that's way. That's what he did. He yeah. Had, yeah, he, yeah, he used to send all types of, of vitamins up to the station. Uh, you had herpes? No. I said vitamins <laughs> to the station. <laughs> did you hear me? I said vitamins Not anymore, to the he station. Damn, envy. <laughs> this you guy is crazy. <laughs> you know what? Red, silver, J. Who? All I gotta say. <laughs>